and that's that's where like uh, you can take uh, give a hundred example like fish moving all in the same movement how do they know they don't look back <laughs> and they, they still know how they should move yes or the, the birds or whatever yeah uh, Right, he doesn't use mirror, yes, and he. <laughs> but you can say this is all. You can always just explain very simply with chemistry. Like you can say there's a hormone that he sends out, and it's just another hormone. He ex so he doesn't know how he looks or what he's attracting. Like, like, like many many animals don't have any eyes, and they still attract each other. Yes. Yeah, but this is all this quantum, this quantum stuff. Uh, see, no, but it's, it's just giving terminology to undefined. Un un yes, that's all. but you see, this is this is the thing is when when they they all call their systems now quantum mechanical or quantum uh, devices. This is just, and then you ask, what means quantum actually? Yes. <coughs> well, then they give some very exotic experiment of somebody did 10 years ago that they had the photon here they changed the spin of this photon and they could maybe somehow measure that it changed the spin a thousand miles away but why do we use this kind of exotic examples for something that we see everywhere on with our own eyes that fishes move all together in the same movement they make a, make a right movement all together or these examples about as um, that our future is predictable just as, as, as photons are predictable that we know if we are part of the group we will di die with this prediction uh, uh, we, will, we will have this uh, likelihood of having a heart attack this likelihood of having a, this kind of disease our future is completely predictable so we don't have to, to, to think about quantum and and uh, and the the photons we can see this everywhere in our life, and then it's more it's more really threatening because then we can ask the question: How can we get out of this? Because this is Einstein was really a Newtonian thinker. He said quantum mechanics is not a science. He didn't like quantum mechanics. Why? Until his death, he said that's not a science. Why? Because he said, God doesn't play dice with the universe. You know, first of all, he said it doesn't play dice. But what does this to do with um, with um, with uh, quantum mechanics? He said, a science has to be able to make a prediction about the individual. If he can only make predictions about big numbers, big groups, it's not a science. Imagine. This is what he said, and what does this show? Einstein was really a Newtonian thinker. He wanted uh, to have a world view, and this was sure he, we will get there. If eventually when science is enough evolved, we will able, be able to predict every part of this universe like a clock. We can say in 10 million years, where will be the small and the, where will be the large uh, indicator be on this clock? any part so Einstein was really very backward in, in many parts and so now for us it's really interesting <coughs> that when we do an analysis we really make an analysis that is statistics so we give a probability so what you see here is not even let's say cancer comes up it's a probability for what? That the person has it or has it not? It just shows a probability for a resonance factor. Like a resonance is that which uh, makes you attract the things in your life. If you don't resonate to cancer, you will never get it. If you don't resonate to uh, the, the letter A, you never can hear it. Like in India, it was often, they have different types of B. B, B. So, in their language, and so I, I, I could not hear it. I said, repeat, and this, can't you hear the difference? They, they repeated the same two 
sounds, yes, for my ear. I said, I cannot hear a difference. But they said, this one means banana, this other means what not, yes? Why? Because I don't resonate to this, so I cannot hear it. So I said, oh, for example, I pointed at something and I said, I want this banana. And they speak English, yeah? everybody speaks English. So I said, I want this banana. And he was not reacting. He was just not moving. I said, I want this banana. No reaction. So why? Because this was not a banana for him. This was another, he had another word for this because they have 30 different bananas. So this was not a banana. So he did not react. He didn't hear it. He did not hear it. You see, that's the interesting thing is, if you informationally don't resonate to a concept, you don't hear it energetically. That's the interesting thing. You talk to your children and say, please make up your bed. And they just do as if they've not heard it. And actually they have not heard it. That's the amazing thing. This is the connection between information and energy. If you don't resonate informationally to a concept, it's not that you can say, well, did you not hear me? Did you not hear me? What did I tell you? So it doesn't help. Energy increase does not help. Why? Because you need the resonant factor on the informational level. And that's what a healer has to be good in, to find how to formulate the information that the person resonates. If I say, well, you have a problem with eating too much what, what, how much do you think, how much effect will this have? Zero. Why? Because they know themselves they have a problem with, with eating, most, most of the time. Yes? So you have to formulate this in another way and the core can give you an idea. Yes? 